got a freezer here. Fans ain't running. Defrost clock is fine. That was packed full of crap. From the filter. And it appears to be running, but the fans ain't running. You can see all the water right there. And it just came out of defrost not too horribly long ago. So my thought is that I don't have enough refrigerant to bring the temperature down on the coil so the fans will come on. Judging from it, which is surprising, this has never been tapped into. That's not warm at all. Now that's nice and cold, so it's more than cold enough that it should be coming on, but it's not. So what I like to do is I'll put this in my pinch-off tool to hold it so it doesn't twist in my hand, and I'll use my spin wedge to convert that into something that I can slide right over top of that uh, stub tube. So we'll pinch it down with this part here, chop off the end, braze that on, re-round it, and then we can check the suction pressure. And that way if it's low, we know that it's definitely low. If it's not, then we got a bad switch up above. So we pinched it off, cleaned it up, chopped off the stub there. <clears throat> slide this on, we'll braze it on, and then we'll check that charge after we re-round it. So we got that on there like that, tighten this side down, we'll re-round it. Got the uh, valve core in there. Into the There we go. Much about back together, so no time for truth. Okay. The pressures are a little low, but it sh should be coming on. So checking that out there. White goes to red. Red when it closes goes to black, and that should bring on the fans. Fans come on, we should be good to go. We'll, buy, uh, we'll have to order another defrost termination switch, fan delay switch. It's a combo switch and uh, it should work. But when the condenser's not hot, like it was, I mean, granted, the evaporator's not running, it kind of led me down that rabbit trail. But we'll go ahead and get that bypass, get them running, recheck the suction pressure and stuff when we get done, and see how we're doing. Another issue you can have with these is those relays there can act up and not bring the system on, but obviously, since the compressor is running, that's not it. So well, there's our switch. We're gonna go ahead and undo that, bring it down, I yank the fan motor and fan blade off to get to it quickly. All right, just looking at it here, you can see it's came out of its shell a little bit. So, that's definitely garbage. So I scanned the evaporator and I don't get nothing up there, so it's probably in this line right here that I'll rot it out because it condensates. This is really annoying. As you know, this is one of my newer detectors and it's been around forever. So I went ahead and peeled it all off because I wanted to make sure before I called them. It ain't gone off once now. I mean, the pipe thing looks like hell. Of course, the whole machine does too. But I'm not getting anything, so it makes you wonder, okay, if it was just the insulation, then it should go off right there, and it's not. Not at all. So, I'm getting all up in that suction line. I don't know where it got it from. I really don't. I guess I'll rescan the evaporator because I thought it was probably trailing down the suction line there and coming down in below. So, Alright, I just scanned it with the uh, H10 there and even the ultrasonic and I didn't pick up anything. Alright, just reused some of those clips you had from those thermostats we replaced before. So we got that and that. So Cushy's back out of the way and they're protected with technically OEM fittings. So get the fan blade on there and see what we got. Okay, we need new grills on this thing like Pronto. Both of them are really bad. So we're gonna order those. I'm gonna tell them the motors are really slow at starting up, so those should be replaced also. A lot cheaper to do it now than later. Somebody's gonna get their finger caught in that too, and it's gonna take the finger. Workers comp ain't cheap.
made sure this clock is set for 30 minutes because I surely don't want it running a full 45 that it's set at.